In this video, I'm going to go over how to iterate over rows of a data frame in Pandas. Now first, I'm just going to answer the question because you asked it, but then I'm going to show you a better question. So let's start with uh, importing Pandas as PD, and we're going to build this data frame, a simple one, very small, and we're just going to iterate over it and print out the rows, nothing special here. So that's it. You do dot I-T-E-R rows, iter rows, and you can go over them. But you really shouldn't do that. And let me tell you why. Because the whole point of pandas is it uses C under the hood and makes it really fast doing calculations on vector math. So in order to take advantage of pandas, you need to use the vectorization. And I'm going to go through some examples here that are going to show you why this is the case. So in, in order of fastest to least fastest, and notice which one's on bottom, iter rows, you go vectorization, blazingly fast, using a custom Cython routine. Uh, I haven't done that. I'm not doing that in this video. It's complicated. Apply, okay, and then uh, iter tuples, which I had never thought about before doing this video, and I went back and reprogram some of my code with it uh, in between uh, making this lesson up and shooting it. It's so much faster than iter rows. So let's get to the meat of it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create 2 million uh, random numbers and I'm going to put them in a data frame. S1 is going to have the first 2 million and S2 is going to have the next 2 million. And then I'm going to time using iter rows to go over that and just add plus 1 to it. Now, I'm not saving that, but I'm going to show you how even not saving it takes a really long time. Now, I'm going to speed up the video after I stop, start this, but look at how long it takes. It took 29 seconds on my fast machine. I don't know how long it's going to take on this, but let's get going. Oh, 30 seconds. Oh, my God. That took forever. And I had some code that was doing this, and I had no idea how terrible this was until I did the research on this. Okay, so you would think, intertuples, how could that be bad? Why are tuples so much faster? I don't know, but look at this. We're going to do the same thing, and look, 0.92 seconds. So it is 30 times faster just to do tuples. So I went back, and I switched my header rows to intertuples, because I just couldn't stand it. This was too big of a difference for me to ignore. Now, what about apply? And apply just puts a lambda function over the whole thing. And so in this case, I'm actually going to add one to each item in each row. And let's look at that. Oh my God, it's 0.04. So that really gets it down low. So I guess if I wanted to really speed things up, I would create a function and I would apply it versus iter tuples. I haven't gone that far yet, but maybe I should because, again, massive speed up. Now let's try vectorization. Now, this is the gold standard, and if uh, pandas has vectorized that operation, which it has with addition, then let's run it. Oh my gosh, it's even another order of magnitude faster. So that's why you should avoid iter rows I mean, at a minimum, do iter tuples, uh, but you know it's up to you. If you want really slow code, then by all means, use iter rows. Now, please subscribe to my channel, and if you haven't, hit that like button down there. It really helps me build an audience, and I'll see you in the next one.